too many people find themselves in. They're driving down the road, and for whatever side of the road, getting back on can be a bad life and death, especially for young, inexperienced drivers. It's an accident with a familiar ring. A teen driver runs off the road, and Raleigh police say that's what happened before Joseph Hart lost control and hit a delivery truck just two weeks after his 16th birthday. He died at the hospital. 16-year-old Joel Duran ran off I-40 in Raleigh in November of 2007 with five people in his SUV. He, too, overcorrected and flipped the vehicle. A young woman was ejected and died. The tendency is to overreact, and that's what we're seeing out on the highway, especially in these teenage crashes. The Highway Patrol considers it such an important driving maneuver they bring the troopers to this track on a regular basis to practice. We want to create give the officer the mindset to be able to multitask in that vehicle as well as when he does or she does run off the road to be able to do it without panic. In theory, the recovery is basic. Stay calm, decelerate, don't brake, then ease back onto the roadway. But add high speed to the equation or other distractions, and any advanced training could save a life. Because of teen traffic deaths, Jordan Driving School will now offer its students hands-on experience in off-road recovery. And we're not going to do it at fast speed. We're going to try to do it, you know, below 25 mile per hour, but they will have had the experience of doing it. The patrol says the experience will come in handy because older drivers also overcorrect. In January, a school bus driver in Cary hit a Jeep Cherokee after police say she overcorrected. The wreck killed the driver of the SUV. This is something that every young driver should have to experience so that they'll know how to react when they, when they face this situation. It's not a matter of if. Johnston County deputies say a teenager died just this past Monday.